Good afternoon and welcome to our speech about ReZero, the world's most fastest and agile ball bots. I'd like to introduce you to my colleague Corsin. Um, he's controlling the ball bot for you today. We are both um, part of the team who built ReZero. The project started last year here in Zurich at the ETH with eight mechanical engineer students. Additionally, we had two electrical engineers from the ZHW and three industrial designers from this school here, from the ZHDK, who were mainly involved in the project. So, before I start, I would like to point out our main goal for today. In the next five minutes, we want to give you an understanding of what a ball bot is and why ReZero is so unique. And further, and this is going to be hard, we want to give you an understanding how the system works. And this is really important for us. We want to show you exactly where the magic takes place. So I went to, with this goal to the guys from TEDx, and they say, OK, we can give you five minutes, but you're not allowed to use any technical word. So <laughs> this is going to be real hard for me. So let's start with something very easy, with the definition of a ball bot. The main difference between a common vehicle like a car or a bicycle is that a ball bot has only one connection point to the ground. So this fact makes ball bot highly unstable. This means if the system stops working, they fell immediately to the ground. But this means also that we have a unique locomotion. So you have to imagine a ball bot can rotate on one single point. He can tilt, he can pitch, and that's what's amazing about it. He can combine all these movements together. So to summarize this, we have an absolute stunning movement behavior on the cost of an of a unlikely instability of the system. So I want to show you now the core elements of a ball bot. Normally, this slide has about 15 core elements or so. <laughs> I reduced it to the four important ones and to the four unique ones. So in the center of our system, there's an IMU. Right above, there's a microprocessor, which is used in every cell phone and every laptop. And at the bottom, we have our actuation, which consists of three omnidirectional wheels, three motors, and of course, there's a ball. In our case, we use an aluminum hollow sphere. So, what was he talking about? Let's start with the so-called IMU. You can think of this as a digital spirit level. If you rotate such a spirit level, it gives you information about one angle. And the IMU is actually exactly the same thing, just a bit more sophisticated. If you move it around, it gives you information about three angles, it measures accelerations in three directions, and so on. So important to know is, with the use of an IMU, we know the position and the situation of the ball bot in the room at any time. And this data, gets um, processed on a microprocessor. Now, this one's really hard for me, so <laughs> I'd like to remember all your high school physics class now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you had to solve something called the tilted throw of a ball. So, the only thing what I want you to remember is that these two equations on the right side were the solution. Of course, you remember, but <laughs> what I want to tell you is that these equations predict the position of the ball at any time. And as I mentioned at the beginning, I want to show you where the magic takes place. And this will be right now on the next slide. What you see here... <laughs> <laughs> no, what you see here, um, I mean it, is, is, exact, is exactly the same thing as you've done with your, with your ball. We calculated the behavior of our robot, and these equations are just the start of the solution. They go on a few more lines, but that's not important. What really is important, we stored these equations on a microprocessor. With information from the IMU, we are now, and this is really interesting, we are now able to look mathematically into the future. And we do this 160 times per second. So let's summarize this. The IMU gives us the current situation of the ball bot. The equations predict what will happen next. So all we have to do is to combine these informations and send it to the motors. And that's the last slide for today, the actuation of a ball bot. It has two main goals. One is really simple. You have to drive the ball in any direction. 
We solve this one with the use of omnidirectional wheels. The second goal is you have to transmit the power to the ground. And this is really hard because you have only one single point. So why, one of many reasons why we zero as such a unique movement is because we put a lot of effort and time in this. And our secret is that we use a special coating for our Omni wheels and we use a special rubber coated um, hollow sphere, which are adapted to each other. So this is really simple, but to visualize how much time and cost we spend, we can add up the value. Three omnidirectional wheels, three motors, and one hollow sphere has the same value as a brand new middle class car. So there's enough talk for, uh, for today. We want to show you what we're really capable of. We're going to show you three unique movements. And um, due to space limitations, we're really sorry. We, we, we cannot go and push the limits right now. So, First one we want to show you is the acceleration capability. <clears throat> Normally, we are able to tilt up to 20 degrees. What you see here are about 4 or 5 degrees. So um, you can add up and can imagine how this would look like on a, on a, on a larger space. The next one we want to show you is ReZero set the high-speed world record. We are able to drive up to 3.5 meters per second. This is as fast as a human being is normally running around. So again, as before, this is what we can show you here on, on this space. And the last movement is the, is the most exciting one for us. Because we use this actuation and the full 3D model. This is the only ball bot in the world who can rotate and drive around at the same time. So our rotation agility is really amazing. And with these movements, we would like to thank you all for your time. And we want to point out that if you have any further questions, do not hesitate to contact us. We are really um, looking forward to answer all your questions.